Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, this uh, video is uh, part of a series uh, I've been working on uh, for developing static websites. Uh, so if you uh, missed any of the prerequisites, uh, please uh, go through the playlist and I would recommend going in sequence. Uh, otherwise, uh, this video may not make sense. Um, so I think we have installed all the prerequisites uh, that is required uh, for um, creating a static websites and it is uh, definitely getting interesting uh, as we move along and um, so let's uh, create some uh, directory structures so that uh, it's easy for us to work with um, so in my case uh, let me go to um, c drive uh, i'll just uh, create a folder called ego so that i know where to go so i can also go to command prompt the ego website and uh, like i uh, mentioned before uh, the command ego should work uh, from uh, any directory so i think we are good on that front so we did create uh, a github uh, on the um, uh, second video of this place uh, series so let me go to github and uh, we need to um, uh, have a repository created uh, for uh, hosting our website uh, so repository is nothing but um, uh, a placeholder uh, so that you once you create uh, your projects uh, you can just uh, use the git tool which we uh, installed I believe it's in the third video uh, you can easily push it to the online repository so that uh, it, it stores the backup uh, in this uh, github so if you go to github uh, again it should be the root directory I am logged in as um, Raj static type uh, which is uh, what we created in the beginning um, and uh, so if you don't have anything uh, you can create as many uh, repositories you want and I'll be showing you and like I said you can create multiple uh, static websites uh, that is the beauty of this so let me uh, let's uh, start from scratch uh, so I'm going to create a static site and I'm going to say uh, my blog site uh, you want to keep this public um, so that it is available to um, uh, your audience as well I'm going to click on this one, add a readme file. Uh, again, this is important uh, when you want to push and pull a code or um, static files into this repository. So once you do that, so you can just uh, click the, um, the uh, create repository. Uh, I think it will go ahead and create the repository for you. So just to give it a second. Uh, I think uh, we have the initial repository, right? Um, so let's um, okay now that you have a, a repo created uh, the next step is to go ahead and um, download the files uh, to your local system here and uh, the way to uh, do that um, so I mean this is um, the way where uh, you download all the files which are there in the repository to your um, local mission um, so when you go to your uh, repository uh, there should be a git link uh, just click this uh, copy button so that it copies the it's normally uh, it's a git site again uh, don't worry too much about if you don't get it uh, just follow the instructions and I think you should be good uh, and then uh, go to your uh, site where um, you have uh, created a static folder uh, just now and then just to git clone and then uh, just paste in the link we just copied so what's happening is it's uh, copying a uh, glit uh, so that uh, if you do a dir you should have this my blog site right over here and there's nothing much in there uh, other than uh, the readme file uh, which was uh, created uh, by default because we created that so if you are um, and uh, if you reach this stage i think uh, you, you're good to go to the next step um, but um, let me um, show you how to create a, a static site uh, using Hugo. I mean, we can, uh, there are many templates we can uh, choose from, um, but uh, let's um, use a separate video for that and I'll show you like how you can create a static site. Okay, until then, I'll see you.